And Judicial Watch is the only one investigating Hillary Clinton's email scandal. Congress is out to lunch on it. They may have some additional questions about it, may want some more testimony, but they're done. Our Justice Department and FBI are protecting Hillary Clinton still. The State Department is protecting Hillary Clinton still. But Judicial Watch hasn't given up. We're still asking for documents. We're still getting documents. We've showed additional instances of classified information on her server, essentially additional evidence of additional national security crimes. And uh, remember, we broke up and opened the Clinton email scandal. And in 2016, we took significant discovery in one of our FOIA lawsuits related to the Clinton email scandal. Now, the discovery res resulted in people like Cheryl Mills, a top official for Hillary Clinton in the State Department, very close to her, Yuma Abedin, close to her as well, top State Department officials being deposed under oath by Judicial Watch attorneys. See, Judicial Watch isn't just about me coming on here and talking about the uh, weather. Our attorneys are in court deposing people doing the hard work that Congress often fails to do, that the media has zero interest in doing. We are granted the ability to bring these individuals in court, to court in 2016 and ask them about the Clinton email issue. We wanted to bring Hillary Clinton in and ask her directly, but the court wouldn't allow that at the time. So we had to submit written questions to her, but she refused to answer some of those questions. So this is what the issue is. Uh, when we depose people, typically deponents, uh, you have a, a uh, a court reporter there that provides a written transcript of what went on. Uh, but there's also sometimes a video uh, person there to provide video of uh, the deponent. And in this case, uh, Cheryl Mills and Yuma Abedin and others, they didn't want that video out there. And the standard is that uh, you can protect witnesses from uh, the distribution of information that would serve to annoy, embarrass, oppress, or unduly burden the deponent if released. So the judge initially granted their, their request not to let you see the video of their description of their involvement in the Clinton email scandal. Uh, so uh, we subsequently went back and asked the court to uh, release that material. We also went back to the court and asked them, asked Judge, it's Judge Sullivan, Judge Emmett Sullivan here in the District of Columbia, we asked him to uh, require Hillary Clinton to answer questions she refused to answer, specifically, if I recall correctly, that she did not want to answer questions about why she continued to use and conducted uh, her uh, used personal devices and uh, her email system despite warnings from security officials. She didn't want to answer that question. And I think there were, I think, three total questions along those lines. And, um, so that was a motion to compel. That's what the lawyers call it. We wanted to compel her testimony there. So it's been some time since we asked for that, and the court uh, recently set a hearing for October uh, about those issues. Uh, and just uh, yesterday, the court entered a, the following order, which is interesting. Well, first of all, he was unable to look at uh, Cheryl Mills' uh, video. I guess he's evaluating whether we release them, and he's watching the videos. So he wanted us to give him another copy of the video, or the parties to give him another copy of the video. And this is the interesting part. Let me see. The court further directs the Department of State, Ms. Mills, and any other deponent, arguing that the audiovisual recordings of their deposition should remain under seal, to file supplemental pleadings pointing to specific parts of the depositions that would annoy, embarrass, oppress, or unduly burden the deponent if released, and he cites the federal law or federal rule uh, that um, has that language. Such supplemental pleadings shall be filed no later than October 17th and shall include references to relevant timestamps. So he wants to know specifically on the video what's, what's bothersome if it got out to the deponents here. And this is the other interesting thing. The Department of State should also clarify that it, whether it opposes unsealing all audiovisual deposition testimony or specific audiovisual depositions. Now recall, there's more than one deposition here at issue. And what's the position of the Department of State, the judge is asking. And so the judge has rescheduled the hearing from next month to November 14th, 2018. 
So it's Judicial Watch is trying to get basic access to your uh, to, to provide you access, the public access to this documentary information about the Clinton email scandal, meaning the video of the de depositions of people like uh, Yuma Abedin, Cheryl Mills, and top State Department officials, some of whom are still in government. Uh, we have the deposition transcripts available online if you want to review the transcripts yourself so that we perform that public service for you as part of our educational mission. So we're hoping the court approves this. And of course, we're going to be in court with Hillary Clinton. So her lawyers will be in court arguing over this issue of whether she'd have to answer the questions we had put to her that she's objecting to. But isn't it remarkable that it's Judicial Watch, the one that is doing this? The Justice Department isn't. The State Department isn't. Congress isn't. I want you to think about Hillary Clinton. No one in the Congress has any new questions for Hillary Clinton on her email scandal, especially after this IG report that came out about it. No one in Congress has any questions about, to Hillary Clinton about her role and her campaign's role in funding the opposition research Clinton DNC dossier through a cutout law firm to disguise the money being spent on Fusion GPS and what she was told about that whole operation. No one in Congress, no one in Congress is interested in asking her those questions. Well, I know there are some people in Congress who might be interested in asking those questions, but the leadership in Congress doesn't want to ask her those questions. And we're not in a position to ask her those questions directly yet. But we were able to ask her questions directly about the Clinton email server. And again, it's Judicial Watch that's doing all this heavy lifting. Congress is out to lunch. The State Department, the Justice Department, and the FBI are protecting her. And thankfully, there's a court that's willing to at least proceed with our effort to hold them accountable and get the truth out and the full truth and full information to you about what went on in the Clinton email scandal.